Hey guys, it's Blackblood0807, and I'm gonna just going to do another Glatorian Legends review. So this time I'm going to do Akar. First, let's go over the box. First you got this resembling the Viserac lid with the thing there. Stackable. You got Black or Bionicle. You got his name Akar. So, you got Akar right here and the Skull Shield in the back. You might, you know, might just attack somebody you know, just looking at him on the ground. Who knows? Um, uh, 7 through 16 year olds. Number 8985. 55 pieces. Here's his building toy in three different languages. Victorian Legends. Lego. Give it to children three and under. All that stuff that we shouldn't worry about because we're not three and under. You got this easy to open thingy right here. So just your finger and open it. And you got Barnacle right here. And then on the other side, you got www.barnacle.com. And then over here, you got this grip thing. Whatever. And back here, you got Bionicle. Legend Reborn picture there, and then the disc that kind of has that has a scroll shield on it. You should know it's coming up September 15th. This is new movie app in three different languages. And down here you got the Thorin Legends Vastus, Galu, Stronius, Matanui, Toakar, or Akar, Kina. I think I have Toa Matanui, so that's why I said Toa Akar. Who cares? And you got how to shoot the Thorn Axe. You know you know how to do that. And then the bio code is 4CK4RG. 4CK4RG. Okay. And you got how to put him in the box. If you need to take off his armor. And you got the game piece there and all this stuff down here. That we don't really care about. Got that. Don't get another picture of the children 3 and under thing. Scan thing. Don't really care about that. The Lego down there. And here you got the stackable thing. It does work really well. I don't stack it because I don't have enough room on my shelf. So, I might show you that in a minute, so I'll show you what limited space I have right now. I'll do that on my last review. Probably Kina, which will be next. Because I don't know when I'm going to get Toa. Lots of new. But now. Let's go over the figure. Here is Akar. Now, first of all, he does have this really awesome sword. It's pretty long. It's you know it's almost as big as my hand. Toa Matsunui's sword is just about that much bigger, so it's a pretty big sword. I might. No, I don't want to compare it. I don't want to get anything. But then it has this Scarabax shield or thing right here, then the flame. And I don't get this. Gray hands. I mean, really, come on. Why? Gray hands. He, he, I know he's an old legend. He's that, but at least give him red hands. Unless they don't, unless they don't like want another, a third guy having red hands. Well, I mean, by third is they had Skrull and then they had Stronius. And... But I don't know. It's still kind of stupid, though. But anyway, and he got these um, shoulder things here. Kind of cool. Kind of. It's okay, I guess. Pretty awesome. Back here, you got the game piece. And another thing that I would like to point out: the barracks mask. Seriously, it's a barracks mask. A barracks mask, different color though. Why? I mean, Lego's kind of getting lazier. I mean, they duplicated the masks for like the new vehicles and stuff. Like Baranus is the same as Thornatus, and Scopio or Tyrannus. I don't know his name, but is the same as Baranus's uh, pet's mask. And then. The Caxium is the same as the 
whatever the snowmobile thing is, except it's just backwards. But it's like, I mean, the mask actually does kind of work out because of these flames. Kind of looks like flames, even though it doesn't look that good. It looks better from the back, I think. Cause, I mean, the flames look better in the back, but I don't know. Can't help it. But, oops. Whatever. And down here, you got these things right here. I don't know about you, but I was kind of thinking, like, when I first got Montanui and he had these, I was kind of thinking it kind of, sort of, resembles the Mask of Time. I don't know if that, I don't think that's anything, but I thought it kind of looked like that. I know, it's kind of dumb, but whatever. Except they wiggle. That's not good. It's kind of dumb. As Lego Mission Studios suggests, it's pretty, it's actually pretty effective. You just take one of those blue circle plus red things, attach it right there, and put it right there. It still works really good. I mean, I even tried it. And you got the Nike feet and legs and stuff, like a chest. I don't get why he had to have the same chest as Gelu, but who knows. He got the thorn axe launcher and these strong arms. He is supposed to be a really good fighter. I mean, because he is a legend, obviously. But he is a really good set. I do kind of recommend him. I mean, I mean, the sword is really good for mocking if you want to mock and stuff. Really good color scheme, I think. Except for the gray hands, it just completely blows it out because there's no other gray pieces on here. Except for the things that attach the whatever. And pretty good build, I guess. I mean, I guess he, I recommend him. He's really cool. Because some people don't like him, and I don't know why exactly. Um, if you do know why, please comment, but don't comment on my video because I know you, some of you guys don't like him. And just don't do a stupid comment, please. That's really mean. But, anyway, my next review will be Kina, probably coming out later. Then, if I can, I'll do Toa Montanay. Then, yeah. Alright, that's all for now.